I think we've all had pinch me moments on a regular basis looking out the window of a plane. It's really pretty being in the plane and seeing something you study. And oh, yeah, I can stare out that window forever. So I'm gonna miss that a lot. Icebridge started with what seemed like a humble goal, to bridge a data gap that NASA could see coming between two satellites. It's, uh, it's bittersweet in the sense that we're, uh, we're wrapping up what is undoubtedly gonna be viewed as one of the most consequential airborne campaigns that NASA has ever done. Icebridge is a fantastic mission. They've collected so much data. I mean, terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of data. Um, basically two campaigns per year, one in the Arctic, one in the Antarctic. There is a lot of data there and there's still so much to do with it. It's difficult to top Operation Icebridge. It's a huge undertaking, involves hundreds of people over the course of this decade, and it's a great example of teamwork. We as a project have made uh, so many contributions to the field of cryosphere science over the last 10 years. Uh, I think it's succeeded beyond, certainly beyond my wildest dreams, and I think beyond uh, pretty much anybody's wildest dreams. As a non-scientist, it's really fun to be on a plane with all these scientists that are directly studying the ice that we're flying over and to see how none of them get used to just looking out the window. Some of our guys that have been doing this for 25 years are the first ones to be out a window with a camera. NASA has launched its new satellite, ISAT-2, in September of last year, and we're actually doing coordinated underflights with the satellite and IceBridge. So we're going to be collecting coincident data that um, will help basically tell us how good of a job ISAT-2 is doing and help improve the science that can come out of it. A whole lot of things have to come together, as you can imagine, to uh, coordinate the DCA and spacecraft on the overhead. To find out that it did work was really exciting. We had numerous uh, flights when we exactly underflew the satellite at the exact same time. When we were there, we were feeling pretty good, and it turned out that we were right. With the launch of ISAT-2, I think a lot of people are looking forward to starting to, to use this data and seeing what new things we can do combining ISAT-2 with sort of the legacy IceBridge data that exists out there. Because the one thing I do know is there's a lot of IceBridge data, and there's still so much to do with all of it. We went with a relatively straightforward goal to repeat a series of flights in fast-changing areas. And what we uncovered is so much more than that. We revealed the cryosphere to the world. 